Meghan facing the worst thing. Piers Morgan's new job after GMB win leaves her brutally in hell. Since quitting ITV's Good Morning Britain, there has been speculation about what Piers will do next. After Ofcom's ruling, he was odds on to return to GMB, but it could be awkward with Alex Beresford. In what is bound to be music to the Duchess of Sussex's ears, Piers Morgan is planning a trip to space. The TV presenter says his new job will be revealed in the coming weeks and he has asked if he can go into Galactic. We caught up at the GQ Awards, hours after he was cleared by Ofcom for saying he didn't believe what Meghan said in the interview she and Prince Harry gave to Oprah Winfrey. Since quitting ITV's Good Morning Britain, there has been speculation about what Piers will do next. Rumor has it he is considering a move to the US- dash, but I can reveal Piers is planning something a bit further afield. He told me, my new job is being announced in a few weeks and I've asked them if I can go into Galactic. I'm going to outer space. That's a dream. That's what I want to do next. After Ofcom's ruling, Piers was odds on to return to GMB, but it could be awkward with co-star Alex Beresford. The pair fell out on live TV over Piers' comments about Meghan. Piers said, I haven't spoken to Alex. He's the only person who hasn't messaged me, so that's the end of that. Piers quit GMB in March after ITV bosses tried to force him to apologize to the Duchess. But Ofcom ruled in his favor after rejecting a record 58,000 complaints, including one from Meghan herself. Piers said, it's a vindication and it's the right thing. Ofcom told them to F off and that's the right thing to do. It's the woke brigade and people aren't falling for it. Genuinely, people come up to me in the street and tell me what I said was right and that I had the right to say that, and that's democracy. Prince Harry made a televised appearance at the GQ Awards, but Piers walked out before he came on. Probably for the best. Piers Morgan last night hailed his free speech win over the Duchess of Sussex and insisted he would not be silenced by the Queen of Woke. The ex-GMB host was yesterday cleared by Ofcom after accusing Meghan of making up claims in her and husband Harry's interview with Oprah Winfrey that a senior royal had been racist, and that Meghan's mental health had suffered. Piers, 56, quit in March after ITV bosses tried to force him to publicly apologize to the Duchess. But the TV watchdog ruled in his favor after rejecting a record 58,000 complaints, including one from Meghan. Piers called her a whiny, forked-tongue actress and said the report was a resounding defeat for Princess Pinocchio. He told The Sun, the work brigade think they can vilify, shame, silence and get fired anyone who has an opinion they don't like. Meghan Markle is the queen of this culture, who personally sought to have me lose my job, and succeeded. Why are she and Prince Harry entitled to have their opinion but I'm not entitled to mine? In an exclusive interview, the telly star told how he was furious at being called racist for disbelieving claims made by the Duchess. Piers told The Sun, this is a woman who smeared the royal family when Prince Philip was ill in hospital and later died. She is a woman who has caused the Queen appalling, extra aggravation as she buried her husband. And for me to be accused of being racist for simply disbelieving two people, who we now know said many untrue things in that Oprah interview, is outrageous. Absolutely nothing I've ever said about Meghan Markle has anything to do with the color of her skin. That slur made me very angry. He added, this cancel culture is a form of fascism that has to end. I intend to continue leading the campaign against this insidious cancel culture, and to promote freedom of speech and freedom of expression. I am not supporting anyone who is bigoted in any way, anyone racist, homophobic or transphobic. But I am supporting the right of people to have their own opinions and not be shamed into losing jobs for holding honestly held opinions. This is a landmark ruling in the battle for freedom of speech in the battle against woke cancel culture. Piers had questioned Meghan's claims about her mental health, a lack of support from the in-laws and allegations that a senior royal had quizzed her over how dark son Archie's skin might be. Her over how 